Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go over to my website, angelsouls444.com. Yes, I usually have a wait time, but I try to get them to you as quickly as possible. So that doesn't mean email me constantly and ask where your reading is. <laughs> like that, would you like that? I mean, nobody likes that. It's it's an interruption. It's not It's not a small thing. And everybody tries to diminish it like, oh, what's the big deal? Just go look up my reading. No, <laughs> I, I'm taking care of clients right now and I'm not going to make them wait because you're getting impatient. You feel me? So make sure you know what you're signing up for when you sign up for a reading. Angelsouls444.com. Also, check the description box for live events. They're very informative. We talk all about spiritual practice, uh, spiritual topics. Um, as of, there's our card, as of the recording of this, um, I have live hangouts, but we'll see if we continue those. So check that out if you care to. So we have the judgment. <sighs> Do you see the light coming down <laughs> from this card and the greens and the yellows? And when I'm saying um, downloads, you know, I think when we say the word judgment, whatever your association is with that, whatever your experience with that word is, um, the judgment to me feels like judgment day and maybe people are using that as a, as an excuse to act out or, um, I'm sorry, this feels, this is like your divine download and in a way that's sort of judgment day. It's not what we think, right? Um, and I even got a message a while back where it's like people keep thinking of doomsday and Armageddon. All it's going to do is end the toxic way. Shift the toxic way so that we can get on living in a nice way. <laughs> right? But um, this is uh, shape it up. Shape it up. Uh, make sure you're in a place where you can get those downloads. I, the biggest thing about this card is that light coming in. That's the biggest thing to me. So... If you are going to be hung up on how life is affecting you and looking at your circumstances and going, oh, well, I'm going to focus in on this one thing and I'm not going to worry about what's going on out in the world and it's going to hit me by surprise and I'm going to expect everyone to take care of me, whether that's mentally, emotionally, financially, with food or water, whatever the deal is, okay? Be your own light. Don't take from others. And as you learn to create this light and to let more of this divine light come through you, don't just hand it out and think that that makes you a good person. One of the worst things that goes around the spiritual community is that we're supposedly the light bringers. I've said that myself before, but people have taken that like, oh, well, we're the ones who create light. We're supposed to feed people. That is so incorrect. No, you won't hear me. You know, they're like twin flames and this concept. Those are the only two things where I'm like, no, <laughs> right? Everything else is so subjective. You know, messages will come through everybody in a different way. But that's too toxic. That is way too toxic. And especially when, think about some of the things that have come out. What do they feed on? Innocence. The purest light. Everybody has an inner child. If you nurture that inner child... There's more source light right there. And they're coming. You want to talk? And we can talk about zombie apocalypse. That's what it is. Okay. They're feeding off your energy. And I cannot stand it when people play the enabler trying to be the good person. Because they don't, it's not instinctual for them about how to be a good person. This is with, you know, where we get into people with broken empathy various personality disorders and they're proud of it they're proud of it they don't deserve your light they don't deserve your light they do not deserve to feed off of you and what's more if you don't get that you're going to get sucked into the wrong side of history the collective needs to shift and we need to shift it through our energy so we need to make sure that we are taking care of us make sense okay leave your comments down below <laughs> I'll catch you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.